issue of Kronos and Kairos, let me say a word or two. Timing is really, really very important. Do you know what the locusts and the canker worms eat? They don't eat things. They eat years. There are spirits whose assignment is not your money. There are spirits whose assignment is not your influence. There are spirits whose assignment is your years. A wise person will not say you are working too hard because they know that this is a Kairos moment. We have the gift and the advantage of Kronos, the passage of time every day. There are not many of these seasons, but they are there. And that they, you have to discern the technology of their arrival. For a man, sometimes in an entire lifetime, you may not have more than six of these seasons. And for some of us, we've already lost two or three. I will restore the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar. Let me speak to someone. Already I'm praying for someone. In the name of Jesus, whatever has eaten your years. Like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it picks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars this issue of chronos and kairos let me say a word or two about it in every man's life watch this now chronos which is the passage of time remains with us for as long as we are alive but kairos this opportune time does not come all the time i want you to please listen let me explain how do i okay let me explain chronos and kairos for you please look up imagine with me a student who is in school right um that student is expected to read and prepare because there would be exams all the time is that true but for a student say in secondary school there's something called junior wayek and there's something called the senior work now all exams are important but those two exams can define the next seasons of that person is that true now those periods are called kairos moments so every time the student is expected to be serious every time the student is expected to read and give his or her best but when you see students who are preparing say for jam you see the kinds of skills that they employ because they understand that this is a defining moment if i miss this i may have to wait one year again are we together and so you see people waking up in the night are we together you see all kinds of chain readings people begin to deploy all kinds of creativity to make sure they maximize that moment and a wise person will not say you are working too hard because they know that this is a kairos moment so even when you see them stretching themselves beyond um the the usual way they would read you only encourage them you don't stop them because you know that if they miss out on that opportunity another example imagine with me a student who is writing his final exam say in law school you see that student has done everything and i mean the student is mandated to read and give the best but for that final exam if it means there are people who fast while they are reading pray while they are reading play worship while they are reading soak their legs in water while they are reading any skill by all means everything that becomes an advantage to maximize that moment because there are there are moments that when you miss that is the end of it are we together so we have the gift and the advantage of chronos the passage of time every day but the bible teaches us that in every man's life there are not many of these seasons but they are there and that they, you have to discern the technology of their arrival you need to learn how this how to know that you are in these seasons because the, for a man sometimes in an entire lifetime you may not have more than six of these seasons and for some of us we've already lost two or three so it will take the grace of god to catch up pay attention please hallelujah that in a man's lifetime you will not have these defining moments come all the time for instance a man who wants to become a professional footballer at age 60 you see his zeal is correct his vision is correct but he missed a kairos moment 
and that there are no biases to that kairos moment there is no club sites that will take him no matter the skill the system that has been built around that field forbids that you will be part of it professionally at that age are we together is someone learning now that means it is not enough to have vision you must understand the timing component to life i must walk the works of him that sent me hallelujah when the disciples saw jesus they discerned a sense of strange urgency and the disciples wondered why jesus seemed to be up and about i mean you are the king of kings having all power you claim you are the son of god coming from heaven what is the rush about to the extent that you will forget to eat after a crusade you would think he should be resting then you see him with a woman at the well and with the same zeal and passion then he says gentlemen i know you are tired let's go to the other side we'll sleep in the boat while we are going he himself was sleeping meaning he was tired we're not the first to start this busy schedule jesus himself <laughs> you see the scriptural backing for what we do hallelujah and jesus got to a point where he let them know that he had to do this because there was urgency connected to it paul the apostle when paul encountered the lord jesus christ the level and the extent of urgency that was in paul to the extent that if they locked him up in prison he didn't have time sympathizing with his situation he said listen i don't need your food just get me a pen and get me something to be able to write in prison all he was concerned oh this church i've not visited them for three months i'm sure some of these people uh, wolves in sheep clothing will be in this church now let me write something to admonish them if you came to paul in prison to say how are you feeling that was not what he wanted to hear how is this church doing the church in this the church in that and then at the end he said i have fought the good fight i have finished my course not our course hallelujah are we together yes so timing is really really very important very very important when you give birth to a child a young baby it would be unfair and even wicked of you to now begin to flog the child to say i'm talking to you and you're not responding back to me no you need to give that child time after five six years and you find out for instance that the child cannot walk cannot talk that now becomes a serious condition a serious condition is that true because you have allowed time there are certain things that should have happened in time already i'm praying for someone in the name of jesus whatever has eaten your years because i will tell you do you know what the locusts and the canker worms eat they don't eat things they eat years there are spirits whose assignment is not your money there are spirits whose assignment is not your influence there are spirits whose assignment is your years i will restore the years that the canker worm the caterpillar let me speak to someone you are here and you say apostle i even gave my life to jesus christ late sincerely i have lived all kinds of things and as it is right now it seems like time is gone thank god you came for this conference i decree and declare may the god who is the lord of time bring restoration to your life hallelujah please sit down when you understand the power of time you will now know why god brought in two spiritual mysteries pastor nat to be able to help men to maximize destiny number one is speed number two is restoration these mysteries directly deal with time when god grants a man speed why do you pray for speed why do you ask for speed hallelujah if i left abuja by road to come here you cannot say i'm stagnated because the car would still be moving but the problem is with respect to the time allotted i may not arrive to meet the activity 
are we together now so if i can outsource another agency that can help me remember my movement is with respect to time so someone for instance and respectfully so who left in the morning most likely has not arrived by now are we together now and then another person both of us are enjoying movement when you say who are those making progress all of us will stand but who are those who are experiencing speed you see speed is the ability to do much within time i'm saying all of this because when i connect it to our destiny and i connect it to this kairos seasons because i will be showing you prophetically that as individuals as the body of christ as a continent we are in our kairos moment how do you know you are in your kairos moment the answer is in genesis 1 14 he said he made lights to signify time that means there is a revelation there is always a body of spiritual truth that helps you to know what season you are in he made lights and he put those lights to signify seasons you can use light revelation to know what season you have stepped into